Sexy Red. Well, she recently shared that male rappers don't try to hit on her at all. She said, damn, am I lame or something? They'd be on some cool shit when they meet me. A Twitter user responded, because you done told them about the STD, Sexy. Sexy replied, girl, bye. <sighs> Quad, are you surprised that these rappers aren't hitting on Sexy Red? I'm not really surprised, but I do appreciate her honesty about the STDs. That, that's 100. Mm -hmm. I really do appreciate that. So, guys, listen, she's clean. I, I think at this point, you know, she's went down and got all type of penicillin and amoxicillin or whatever cillin she needs. But I think that it's not about the STDs so much. What I do, I just think that she's harsh. She comes across very hard and masculine and tough and it's not too sexy, in my opinion. I think if she were, and I think as she grows into uh, her role as a female artist, I think she will soften up a bit. I mean, we recently just saw her at the uh, BT Hip Hop Awards and her look was slightly different, a little bit softer in terms of her makeup and her hair was laid down with a nice edge control. But I just feel that she comes across more masculine and listen, the, the fellas don't want to be, you know, they don't want to be, you know, they want something soft, you know, they don't want to mess with another hard leg or, you know, a bumpy chest or a hairy chest and a bumpy face. They want some woman who is soft, smells nice, gentle, you know, and, and, and just delicate. And I don't think that she presents that right now. Are you implying she don't smell nice, Quad? <laughs> no, I'm not saying that. I'm sure she probably has all type of perfume, but I'm just saying what, <laughs> what, Men like they like softness and femininity. <laughs> right now, she's not she's not coming across as feminine. Perfume or body spray? She give me a Bath and Body Works body spray, kind of old old Jergens cherry almond scent type of old <laughs> Walgreens by the keychain perfume. <laughs> <Listen>. <laughs> give you a little Bath and Body Works. Listen, 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 listen. Oh. I'm I'm gonna I'm I'm try to keep it as nice. And as PC as possible. <laughs> um, Sexy Red, you can't come out of the gate and like the lion's share of your conversation is about remember when uh, the STD this, STD that, STD this, and then want people to come on to you romantically. Um, for what it is worth, here we go. Um, You don't look clean. You, you, you don't look clean. Okay. And, um, you know, when you're always talking about STDs and, and having them, I saw an interview that she recently did where she was telling a girl about her lip gloss line. And she was like, yeah, my colors, there's coochie juice. I got a green one that's called gonorrhea. It's like the discharge from your gonorrhea. From gonorrhea. And, and, and the girl was like, oh, I don't know nothing about that. You see what I'm saying? That their sexy had tried to dial it back. It was like, well, you know, like, who wants to sleep with a, 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 or be in the company of a woman who so freely talks about stuff like that? So, no, they may do a song with you. They may, you know, kick it with you in the section. But I wouldn't put my dick near you with six condoms on. I'm sorry. Yeah, I mean, I love that. To to Quad's point, I love the honesty. I love that you know she's trying to destigmatize something that's been stigmatized for a long time. But so many people, I mean, the statistics I don't have them, but I know Al probably would um, on how many people have STDs. But the fact that she wears them like a badge of honor and has to throw them in our face and name her lip glosses after them, <sighs> yeah, no, it, it's kind of like you're repelling everybody. You're repelling people. All right. Pose a question. When did becoming so crass and raunchy and just vulgar become the thing to do as a female artist? Like, when, what, 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 what part? When did I miss that? You know, because I'm like, why is it cool? Like, and you know, if people are deaf, and, and the homeboys, you know, Drake, 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 you know, seems like he's rocking with her, and that's fine. But when did that become so acceptable? I don't know. I don't know. I know female rappers have been trying to own their sexuality and are talking about it a little bit more, but we are just getting raunchier and raunchier and more and more vulgar. We are taking it a little, a little too far. I feel like you want to. Let's let, let's hit let's hit this chat real quick. Shell Shafan says she looked like she hard and got dry skin. 
uh, Indy Capitra said they don't care about those STDs. I'm going to tell y'all, these men really don't. A man will screw anything if you really want to know the truth about it, but we're going to say that for another show. All right. And the real area Dondo said the, uh, that's crazy because you can't beat them off of Sukiana. And you know what? That is true. Suki gives a little something that sexy don't.